An eight-month-old girl needs your help. This is Hadley Mercer. My goodness, isn't she cute? And she has a rare form of leukemia. Doctors say to save her, she needs a bone marrow transplant. You might be just who Hadley needs to survive. With me now is David Clark, who attends Hope Church, and he's helping to organize a big event, trying to get as many people as you can to be tested to see if perhaps we might be a match to help Hadley. Yes, ma'am. Tell me how that's going to work. Well, we're hosting a drive this weekend at Hope Church. Uh, just all you have to do is come out, simple swabbing. I've got a test kit here that uh, all you need is just we take a Q-tip, swab your mouth real quick, and it takes about 10 minutes. There's no blood taken from you or anything like that. A very simple process. And that puts you on the registry to see if you're a match for not just Hadley, but anybody else across the country that may need a bone marrow transplant. So will you know in 10 minutes if you're able to help her? No, it takes about four months, and that's what I tell people. I'm not asking you to come out and get bone marrow. I'm just asking you to come out and get tested to see if you're a match. If you're a match, then we'll give you a call, or not me, but be the match.com will give you a call, and they'll tell you if you're a match for Hadley or for someone else. Uh, it's all confidential. The families don't know about it, and, and you go into further testing after that. So. Uh, all I ask is you come out and get tested, see if you're a match for someone, and then that's when you need to get down on your knees and pray and see if that's what you want to do is get bone marrow. Is there anything else that as a person that swap, because I'm going to let you swap me. Can you swap me? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm going to to see if, you know, is there any other thing that's intrusive on you as far as knowing, you know, when they call you? When they call you, uh, the first thing I thought is, is bone marrow. You're giving bone marrow that mm -hmm. they're going to take bones out of you. That's one of the myths that they be the match tries to, to combat, that there's no bone taken from you. It's just a simple fluid that's in your, in your marrow. So it's uh, as easy as giving blood. So they, they stick a needle in your hip, outpatient surgery. You may be weak for about a week, but other than that, that's all there is to it. So anybody can do it. Uh, a simple swab could help somebody save somebody's life. What kind of a timeline does she have? Uh, well, they haven't given a timeline. Uh, she's gone through two rounds of chemotherapy, and she's uh, doing a lot better now, but she's, she has to have this bone marrow transplant. And right now, we haven't found a match for her. So we're, we're still looking. That's Tell us when the event is, when people can come out again. Sure, it's at Hope Church on Wanna Grove, and the drive is Saturday from 2 to 7 and Sunday from 9 to 1. So we've got two days for you to come out and, and get swabbed. And anybody can come out and get swabbed. 18 to 44 is the demographic that we're looking for. We're actually looking uh, for anybody in 18 to 44. Be the match needs a lot of uh, multi generational, multi ethnic uh, people to come out as well. So anybody is welcome to come. Uh, we serve coffee at Hope, so you can grab a cup of coffee while you're there and, and maybe stay for service as well. All right. Thank you so much, David Clark, for being with us. And, again, that's going to be – and also, that's right, we're going to have a story tonight on Action News 5 at 10 where we're going to profile more and talk about Hatley's rare form of bone cancer and how, again, you might be a match to help this sweet little 8-month-old baby girl. She is gorgeous, and we are wishing her well. Jarvis? All right, thank you. Holly.